with Mount Laurel Chalets. This is Tom Goodwin checking in with you and welcoming you to the month of April. I can't believe we're already three months done with 2021. Well, this last year has been incredible. When I think about where we were at this time last year with so many unknowns, uh, so many uncertainties, uh, you know, we closed our office down for seven weeks, refunded all reservations, not knowing what the future would hold. But one thing we knew to be true is that we needed to lean into who we were as a company and our core values which have guided us all along. And those core values are that we believe that family matters, we believe in exceeding expectations, and we believe in being generous stewards. And those core values and who we are as a company for 49 years drove us to make some pretty radical decisions in light of what our competition was doing during uh, March of 2020. Well, uh, we made the right choice and we uh, did what was responsible and we've learned uh, quite a bit about this pandemic and how to thrive in business in the midst of this. Um, I do want to give hats off to Corey Hawks and Jasmine Hawks for transforming our housekeeping department. Uh, we have gone through about 17 different cleaning crews, um, hired and let some go. We had very high stringent um, um, standards for them. We started with three cleaning crews and now we have a consistent nine cleaning crews and they're all uh, cleaning your homes. So it's the same crew cleaning your home. They're very familiar with it. We've entered into and squeezed in deep cleans, cleans where we're able to and uh, we're very pleased uh, with the results that we're finding, especially in light of just the um, rampant complaints that we're finding online with other companies and their cleaning and we're having a lot of uh, self managed uh, homeowners that do VRBO or Airbnb on their own calling us and saying could you please let us use your cleaners and uh, we, we can't give them up because you're our priority uh, our managed uh, owners are our priority so we want to make sure your homes are in the best condition possible well it is April 1st and with that uh, comes a lot of signs of spring the dogwoods beginning to bloom the fresh green buds coming out on the mountain it's my favorite time of year April and May um, one thing I've noticed this year, and an exorbitant amount, there's pollen, but there's also mailers. <laughs> this is the last, in the last two weeks, I've received this many mailers from competitors. Uh, you know, we have a, a cabin on the program, and so they email me, or they, not, they send me these postcards and letters, and I'm getting them just like you're getting them, and you might not be getting as many as I get, um, but they come from different groups. So so I was going to take some time in this quarterly update to let you know a little bit of my opinion on these flyers uh, that you get and that you might read and that you might uh, not read. Uh, first of all, there's this company here that sends fluorescent flyers and with each flyer they send a word search. The problem is I've received nine of these in two weeks and it's the same word search. So once you do it once, it's not really all that exciting. Uh, this is a company here locally that is owned regionally. It's a large conglomerate. They own uh, well over a thousand cabins. They manage those in the state of Florida and Georgia and, and other parts of the Southeast and not just in Gatlinburg. They did buy a local Gatlinburg company and then merged it into their larger group. Uh, another flyer, flyers that I get is from our friends up the street at Cabins for You at Chalet Village. They bought Chalet Village uh, over the pandemic, I believe. Um, and this is an interesting one. Um, you know, they sent out these flyers and it states that it's not intended to solicit uh, any cabin under a current contract with a cabin rental management company. And I took a, a affiliate broker's license uh, exam and coursework and it's, they explicitly say you cannot target companies and try to gain their business from just their targeted homes. Uh, but that's actually what they did. Uh, this mailer came to my home address and it still had this sticky note attached to it saying Mountain Laurel Chalet 48. Interestingly, that's how many owners we have on our program in the 60 some homes. So uh, they sent it to the wrong person, the owner of Mountain Laurel Chalets, and I know you're targeting our company um, with incredible promises of 85%, 15% um, commission and um, which would be unbelievable. Then there's Turnkey, uh, which I believe is based in, uh, I think that's in the West Coast, Vacasa, 
which is in Austin, Texas. These are all recent within the 10 year, within 10 years, these companies, they're nationally owned, they're out of town, they're out of state, and they try to get local vendors and um, people, uh, cleaners and so forth to take care of their homes. Um, and then a few other smaller cabin companies um, that are based out of Pigeon Forge, uh, which I'm sure are great companies. It's just that we exclusively serve uh, cabins in Gatlinburg, and I uh, uh, think that's an, that's an important distinction uh, that we have. Well, I want to explain a little bit maybe of the myth of the 80-20 myth, maybe 70-30 myth or 85-15 myth. It's their percentage myth of commission. And so often when people call me and they're interested in the Mount Laurel Chalets program, they, their first question is, how much is your commission? How much am I going to make? And um, I think asking the question, how much am I going to make, is a good question. But it's a myth that you can get the right answer um, by asking, what is your commission? You see, uh, every management company still needs to make money to do uh, advertising, to host the software, to position themselves on Google, uh, to clean, to take care of their homes, to pay insurance, to pay our employees, to pay our benefits. There's operating costs that every management company experiences. And so regardless of what their percentages are receiving, they need to make a certain amount of money to make it worth their time. And this is where they do it. They tell you, we're going to give you 85% commission or 80% commission or 70% commission. And we're going to keep the other portion. It's less than everyone else. But what they don't tell you, and if you kind of look at the fine print, you got to go to their websites, is see how many extra fees that they charge on their homes. And so there's a cleaning fee, there's a hot tub fee, in some cases there's a reservation fee, a cancellation fee, and then a damage fee. Uh, some of uh, these competitors are charging five fees, and for every reservation they're collecting all five of those fees, and 100% of those fees go to the management company, where their motivation is to rent your house as many times as possible, because they're getting up, upwards of 400 uh, 250 to $400 a reservation, if not more than that, that they're earning. So their business model and their funding comes from those fees. So really, you could probably go back to them and say, how about if it's a 0% commission and you keep all the fees and you give me 100% of the rents? Still a problem with that, in my opinion, because their motivation is to rent your house at whatever cost for rent. So if your home is open this coming weekend or next week, they're going to slash your price 50% in order to get that house sold. Rent is 50% less, but the fees are still serviced at 100%. So the management company gets 100% of their fees and you get 50% of your rents, of which you're taking 70, 80, or 85% commission. So think of it that way. The better question to ask is how much money do I need to come away with every month? And I even think a more important question is to ask is who do I want to, who do I want taking care of my home? Who what kind of management company do I trust them? Are they reliable? Are they uh, reputable within the community? Have they been here for a long time? And that's really the ground that we stand on, and we feel like it's a solid ground and a firm ground of trustworthiness, of integrity, and um, providing excellent service above and beyond. So thanks so much for entrusting us with your home. And when you do get these flyers, consider it. Look and see you know, what the options are. But look a little bit deeper than the immediate commission. And as we are um, also sending out some different types of postcards to potential owners in the area, not targeting one specific company, um, we are seeking those people that are looking for, for a full service management company that they can trust, that has the legacy reputation that we have here at Mount Laurel Chalets. One last thing, I would like to ask you on a personal note for your praise, prayers and good thoughts for our friend, Pam Penny. Pam is uh, serving here at the front desk, has been with us for many years, and Pam has recently um, discovered that she has a diagnosis of breast cancer and she's undergoing surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy in the coming weeks. 
So we want to support Pam. We want to encourage her. You can email her at Pam at Mountain Laurelchalets.com. That's MTN Laurelchalets.com. You can write her a note and send it here at the office at 440 Ski Mountain Road, or you can give her a call as well. But we want to pray for Pam. We want to lift her up. She's a part of our family, and we care deeply about her, and we care deeply about each one of you. I just had lunch today with Bill and Shirley Wisnett up on their patio, right by Cottage View for two, an incredible view, an incredible home. The hospitality and the love and the concern and the family spirit that we experience from each one of the owners really blows us away. And we look forward to seeing you soon here in Gatlinburg. Let us know when you're coming and uh, we hope to be able to connect with you the next time you come. Thanks so much.